listening to a Wood End Barn podcast with me, Sam Tom. My guest today is Martin Green from Scottish traditional music band Lau, who's performing at the barn on Saturday, the 14th of May at 8 p.m. Martin, first of all, the name Lau, it sounds it's almost like Tupau, like it comes from Star Trek or something. Please tell me it's got a, it's got a good um, pedigree like that. It's um, uh, nothing quite as exotic. It's a, a word from Shetland and Orkney, and I think maybe from the northeast once upon a time, uh-huh. uh, just meaning fire or firelight. Right. Um, and I think Lau, when written down, at least in Orcadian, would not be spelt L-A-U, but L-O-W-E, but that we thought was confusing, and yeah. so we changed it. Yeah, and um, now you've played around the world. Uh, you've played in, to- in uh, Tokyo in Japan, and I wanted to ask you, I don't know if you can speculate on, on this, but what's the difference between an audience if from Japan and an audience from, say, the northeast, like, you know, at Wood End Barn? What do you expect to, to see? Um, well, what, the overwhelming thing, I think, about the Japanese audience is how quiet they are, oh, um, really? which is a little bit unsettling at yeah. first. So, um, but they do listen very uh, very attentively. And I'd say my experience with Wood End Barn is, is that people there also listen quite attentively. They just make a bit more noise at the mm-hmm. end. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's not quite as crowded around Bankery Way as it is in Tokyo. A little bit more uh, space uh-huh. between the humans. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that in Japan, certainly in the big cities, they like to have their gigs very early before they have dinner. Um, so <laughs> that's like a four p.m. Sort of thing. You have to, well, sort of five thirty after they finish work, go yeah. and see a gig, then they go out for tea, which, which makes sense because they all commute so that. It means people go and see a show and then go home. Yes. But uh, that, for us, is quite a big... It's not really a time for folk music, for us, 5.30 yeah. in the afternoon. Uh, it's, it's about five hours earlier than we're used to. So <laughs> that's another thing, is, is uh, yeah, trying to get geared up earlier in the day. Yes. So you, you would perform at, say, 5.30, you'd be finished by 7.30, and then you'd be out in the town. That's right, yeah. And another surprising thing is they didn't seem keen on the long longer gig. They're like uh, between 50 minutes and an hour. That, oh, really? Yeah, a, a very intent listening. And then that was it. And, uh, I mean, how do you set up a, a, you know, a, a gig like that? How do you come to be in Japan and not France or Newfoundland or somewhere like that? Um, it, to, it's, it was to do with the woman that released the albums in Japan. Um, and mm-hmm. she also promotes gigs. So, and she's taken quite a few folk musicians that you're probably familiar with over, certainly mm-hmm. Fender's Bird and Chris Grant and, Katrina Mackay, yes. um, Mason from uh, from Sweden, and uh, there are a few bands that she takes over, and she's developed an audience for, uh, I suppose, modern trad music. Or, That's interesting. Um, yeah. And, um, and is there is there are there um, manga characters, comic book characters for for the um, Lao band members? Not yet, but that's a great idea. <laughs> um, we'll have to next time we're there. <laughs> we'll have to see if we can recruit an yeah. artist. And, of course, you've collaborated with Kareem Powett, and Kareen was on the podcast um, a couple of weeks ago, and she's magic. Let me say that now, yeah, categorically. Yes. She is, isn't she? Yes, we love Kareen very much, and uh, as you might imagine, an absolute joy to work with. Yes. Um, Have um, you got plans for any sort of collaborations in the future? Anyone you, you've, you've got your eyeball on? Well, well in it, fact, cause, I mean, you've worked with Joan Baez, for heaven's sake. Yes, yeah. Um, that was, um, uh, I think I would be flattering my own input to say that it was a collaboration, but oh, I did yeah. uh, I did play in her band, yes. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we've got a, f- a few things coming up. The most exciting one uh, coming up in the near future is with the Northern Symphonia at the St. Gateshead mm-hmm. um, in June. So, uh, yeah, that would be great, a big uh, piece of orchestral music with a guy called Brian Irvin. Yes. Martin, thanks very much for, for taking part. Uh, it was very short notice when, I, when, I, when you got in touch and we were able to bring this together within a, um, a few uh, less than an hour. So that's really good that, that you were able to do that. No problem, um, a pleasure. And you played at Wood End Barn before? Yes. Okay, well, let's hope that everyone snaps up those tickets. I know that they're moving already. Um, and uh, I look forward to, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll be standing at the back of that. You see, I never get a seat. Uh, everyone else gets seats. I just have to stand. I'll be, I'll be at the back of the theatre. So so good luck and thanks for joining me. Great, thanks Sam. Cheers.